What neighborhood are we in right now? They call this the Sunshine Belt. Sutra Heights. Or Richmond, I guess. San Francisco? I mean, technically, yeah. Like I said, me and, and like all my friends that I was like skating with, you know, like the Baker people, like Eric and Andrew and stuff, like we all kind of, everybody kind of went their separate ways and then I didn't, you know, have any reason to stay in LA. I remember I rode down a hill one day and I was like, okay, I'll move up here. Hi, welcome back. What's up? Welcome back to Epically Latered. This episode is about Alyssa Steamer, and I'm really excited because we've never had a girl pro skater as the subject of the show. And I'm doing this episode not really because she's a girl, but that's a big, interesting part of her story. When she came out, it was kind of unusual to see a girl skating, where now I think, in part because of her influence, if you go down to a skate park, there's going to be lots of girls skating. And I think she was one of those people to really break down that door. Welcome to Hell, that was the first time I'd ever heard of her. And then jump off a building. She's had a really long career of really awesome skating. Oh, this is the Alyssa Steamer episode. I hope you enjoy it. You like that one? Florida. <laughs> is that your, is that like your pro model truck? No, I had one though, and it was like my name in Slayer font. So sick. Well, let me go back to the beginning. So where are you from? Fort Myers, Florida. How'd you get into skating? I liked, you know, all things different. Saw somebody doing it. It was the 80s. And skating was big, right? She missed the ATV. My dad was stoked on it. He'd buy me a skateboard for my birthday in July, and then he'd buy me a skateboard for Christmas. You know, I'd have a board that lasts like six months at first. Were there any girl skaters that you liked? There were no girl skaters. There was that one Powell segment with Lori Rigsby and a girl with striped pants on, and they were not as good as Ray Barbie. So you mostly just looked at guy pro skaters? Well, that's all there was, right? So there was no she boarders, and there was no girl skated in my town. There was a girl skated in Brandon or Bradenton or something, but like she was sucked. It was boring skating with her. <laughs> she couldn't like push down the street, you know. We had a skate park in town, and so all I would do is skate in the skate park. And me and Milligan would take the Greyhound to Tampa, and then we would just stay in Tampa for weeks at a time. The skate park in Tampa was like the hot spot. I remember we used to like want to skate so bad, but we'd be like, oh, we can't go to the park until five because nobody's there until five. There was like a firm demo. I think it was firm and girl and chocolate. And I called Lance Mountain and I was so nervous. Oh my God. I called and I was like, hey, this is Alyssa, the girl skating in Tampa or something like that. And then he sent me like two boards a month. The real team came through and I skated with them. And, and I had a menace board. The whole time. That's why I wrote Menace boards. <laughs> so you just try to get on Menace? No, because they never came through. But if they did, I would have tried for sure. And then Toy Machine came through. That was the summer they all get, gave me the stuff, you know? And it would have been, yeah, it would have been like the end of 95 probably. And Muska came around to us and was just like, yo, this chick, Alyssa Steamer, you got to check her out. She rips. She's got to be on Toy Machine. And I saw her like kickflip the pyramid or something, and instantly I was just like, who is this chick? Like, she's so amazing, so dope. And I was instantly like, let's hook her up, let's hook her up, let's hook her up. I think it was Paul Zitzer. was like, you got to ride for Toy Machine. The Musco wants you on Toy Machine. And I was like, I don't even know who he was. It was just, I thought it was Jamie Thomas's buddy. And I don't know if it's because I didn't read that magazine that month or whatever, but when I met him, he wasn't the Musco. He was becoming the Muska. I, I don't know, I guess. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure he's always been the Muska. You know what I mean? Dude rules. It was Muska just wiling out, and he was just so pumped and hyped on stuff, and he got super hyped on Brian Anderson, and put him on in a day, and then, yeah, put Alyssa Steamer on in a day, too, at the Tampa Park. Yeah, it was awesome. And at the time, I think she was getting flowed from the firm, and, uh, <clears throat> I don't know kind of how it came about, but 
I think she smoked weed at the time, and Muska smoked weed, and they were broing down, and next thing we knew, she was on Toy Machine. Hello, my name is Alyssa Steamer. I'm from Fort Myers, Florida. I ride for Toy Machine. And they were like, we don't have a float team. Like, you're on the team if you want to ride for us. And I was like, oh, yeah, OK. That sounds good. And I kind of like, I don't know, I didn't know how things worked, you know, and I was like scared to like call somebody and tell them like, hey, I'm going to ride these boards instead, you know. So I didn't do it. And then like I had a toy machine shirt on the next time I saw Mickey and he was like, what the fuck? I mean, he was cool about it, but you know. And it was so funny, Mark Waters, the first box sent me like, remember they had like poot girls kick ass? I called Chad or Jamie or something. I was like, dude, what kind of box is this, you know? <laughs> It's kind of funny because I grew up here and and some of like the original girl skaters I happened to be around when I was like a young kid skating too. There's this girl like Anita and she was sponsored by like SMA Rocco Division in the early days. So in California it was kind of like a little more normal but I think in the rest of the country and overall it wasn't that normal at, the t at that time. So I loved it. I loved the idea of having Alyssa Right before she had, I guess, flew out when we were going to start f uh, filming for uh, Welcome to Hell, Jamie had told me, he's like, you know, I think we're going to put this girl on, uh, you know, Alyssa Steamer. He'd probably seen her in, like, Tampa and stuff. I was like, yeah, you know, that, that's a bad bitch right there. Like, she's got the ill style, man. And um, he's like, yeah, you know, like, you might as well, you know, we might as well have, like, the best well-rounded team. Like, you know, if we're going to have the best handrail skaters and dudes that jump gaps and, you know, crazy shit. It's like, why not have the best girl skater? It's like, definitely, that's what's up. I made plans to come back like three months later, or two months later, I forget how long it was, and, um, and film with her. And that's when I basically stayed at her house for a week and we filmed all of Welcome to Hell, pretty much. I didn't even know how to skate. I swear, I did not know how to kickflip down three stairs. All we skated was ledges and flat ground. Jamie got me to do it, you know? Not got me to do it, he like encouraged me to do it. And like, I had no idea what I was capable of. I didn't know I could ollie that far. You know, I didn't know anything. There was no drill sergeant type of thing that you hear about him. He was the coolest dude ever. He came and stayed with me and my mom. It was awesome, we got along great. And he'd be like, you, you should try this. And I'd be like, I don't know if I can do that. He'd be like, I bet you can, you know? And I'd try it and I would do it. I just filmed her go to the park with her dogs and we, you know, that was the intro. and. It's cool to see her in her space, and I didn't really skate. I just filmed her, and I was just a filmer. So it was like I wasn't there to skate. I was just there to support and help her film a video part. And we got a lot of stuff done. I think we probably got a minute of footage that trip, or a minute and a half. And it was probably half her part in Welcome to Hell, and it was tight. Jamie stayed with me for a week, and then I came to California for like a week before the deadline. And I remember like hearing, hearing like the buzz around town that there was a girl on Toy Machine, you know, when I got to Pacific Beach. Jamie didn't tell me like, hey, there's also going to be this girl there, you know, it was real vague because there weren't cell phones, so I was just, I got an airline ticket in the mail probably, and I just showed up, you know. So that's the first time I met her, it's Jamie and the Honda Passport. and they wanted us to film for Welcome to Hell. So we lived there and went out skating every day. She had an East Coast style too for a girl and it was sick. I mean, you know, everybody knew that, like, that she was different than every other girl that there ever was. And it was obvious. Milligan, I, I grew up with, you know, and Rob too. And Tons is young, but I mean, he's, he's a Floridian. <laughs> but uh, yeah. 